You've chosen to install Bradford Gold ceiling insulation. Soon you'll be enjoying all the benefits of a more comfortable and energy efficient home. Installing Bradford Gold ceiling insulation is relatively simple. This video will help you to prepare properly for the job and provides a step-by-step -step guide to help you get the job done quickly, safely and effectively. Please also refer to the installation instructions provided on the pack. As you'll be working in a tight space, it is important that you give sufficient consideration to your safety. In poorly ventilated spaces, a mask is recommended. Long trousers, leather gloves and rubber-soled shoes improve safety when working around electrical cabling and devices. The use of eye protection will help prevent dust and particles getting in your eyes. In summer, it is not recommended to work after 10am or before 6pm in the roof space given the high temperatures that can build up. To safely complete the job, you'll need the following tools and equipment. A stepladder, a tape measure, a kneeling board, an insulation poker. This can be made from a broom handle with two nails or screws approximately 25mm and 100mm from one end. The handle must not be made of an electrically conductive material. A large pair of scissors, a retractable bladed knife, a sharp, long bladed holstered knife like a bread knife, a torch or battery lamp. Before starting the job, you need to calculate how many packs of insulation you'll need. First, calculate the area of your ceiling. The easiest way is to measure the perimeter of each section to be insulated in metres and then Calculate the area. To estimate the number of packs required, you need to measure the distance between the joist centres and select the width of Bradford Gold ceiling insulation to fit that joist spacing. For 450mm joist spacings, use 430mm wide insulation. For 600mm joist spacings, use 580mm wide insulation. Once you've determined the best R value for your home, you can calculate the number of packs you'll need to complete the job. Bradford recommend products which deliver an R value of at least R3.5 and above. Simply divide the ceiling area by the coverage which is on the label of the pack to determine the number of packs you'll need. If your joist spacings are uneven, you may need to allow for extra packs. Before you enter the ceiling space, make a sketch of the location of any electrical equipment such as lights, exhaust fans and mains powered smoke detectors that are visible in the ceiling. Turn off the power at the fuse box before entering the ceiling space, but remember to consider how long appliances such as fridges and critical appliances in the home will be switched off during the installation. Using the stepladder, Enter the ceiling through the manhole. Take care to only stand on the ceiling joists. Set up your light so that you can see clearly what you're doing. Take enough packs of insulation into the ceiling space to complete the whole job if possible. Bring in all your tools. Check your electrical sketch and familiarise yourself with the location of the devices that you previously marked up before you start. Start at the furthest point from the manhole access. Open the insulation one pack at a time. Ensure the kneeling board is supported by at least two joists. To ensure the insulation covers the whole ceiling, cut a notch in the end of the insulation piece before fitting it into the area where the ceiling meets the roof. Friction fit the insulation between the joists with the top surface upwards. The top surface faces towards the front of the pack. Push the insulation segments into limited access areas using the insulation poker, including the tight corners at the edge of the roof. Ensure each piece of insulation tightly fits up against the next with no gaps. If the insulation is too tight, trim one edge so the insulation is 5mm wider than the joist spacing and then fit it between the joists. 
In areas where the joist spacing is wider than the insulation, slice a piece 5mm wider than the gap off another insulation segment and use this as a packer or use Bradford Gold filler or handy packs. Care must be taken when installing insulation around downlights and other electrical equipment. A clearance of 50 mm must be allowed. The easiest way to achieve this is to cut a semicircle equal to the diameter of the downlight plus the 50 mm clearance from the end of two insulation pieces and join them around the light. Ensure the transformer is placed on top of the insulation. Ensure the insulation around the downlight is secured between the joists to prevent it from moving and possibly touching the light. Care should be taken not to cover wiring installed prior to 1989 with insulation as it may overheat and fail. As a general rule, white electrical cables are normally okay. Don't forget the manhole. Cut a piece of insulation to fit and glue in place. When the job is completed, remove all packaging and tools from the roof space. When you've completed the job, you can turn on the power at the fuse box. Congratulations! Now you can relax and enjoy your more comfortable and energy efficient home thanks to Bradford Gold Insulation.